Let's talk about the history of espresso coffee and espresso machine. Hi, my name is Shorob. I've been working as a barista for the last 14 years in Australia and Europe. So, I think I've learned a little bit to share my experience with you. Now, let's get to the point. What is espresso? Espresso is a type of coffee made by brewing in a special way. Well, to be honest with you, not that special. Pretty simply, it's made by forcing a small amount of nearly boiling water, about 65 degree to 90. I know it's a big difference, it depends on the machine. Ideally, 84 degrees Celsius, to be precise, it's a, it should be very good. Now, that boiling water under pressure through finely ground coffee beans. Then again, a lot of people use that word finely ground coffee beans a lot. Now, you have to understand, finely ground is not that finely. You need to, you cannot just um make the coffee bean that finely grounded the reason behind is that you need a certain amount of size to make sure that water is passing through your coffee beans ground coffee beans now it has a highly concentration of suspend and dissolved solid which which makes it thicker and much stronger now when I say thicker and much stronger, it's not just because of the process, but it also because of the way of roasted coffee and type of coffee beans. For example, if it's Arabica, then uh, a good quality Arabica, to be precise, then it will be less thicker because uh, um, high quality Arabica bean from high altitude tend to be um, more complex much uh, fine in texture, thin in texture, uh, some time to time. While Robusta has more oil, so which means has more caffeine and more um, in terms of the taste in mouth, it tends to be more gourmet. Gourmet means more in chocolate, uh, more in bitterness, etc and has this nice and beautiful thick cream on top to make nice beautiful latte art. Now, espresso has more caffeine per unit volume than most types of the coffee. However, it serves in a smaller size. Which means, technically speaking, a person who's taking a mug of coffee will be consuming more caffeine than a person who is taking an espresso. However, the impact of the caffeine will be more present in espresso, espresso than a filter coffee. So that's why sometimes people think that espresso has more caffeine. No, it's more like a booster. Now let's talk about the, um, the meaning of espresso. As I said, there are a few ideas. But espresso is similar to the word express. Remember that train, that uh, Darjeeling Express or um, you know Munich Express back in the day in the world of trains. So that will, should give you idea that it means um, speed for from that point of view or pressure. So that means that it means two things. It explains how the coffee is made. It also uh, means how the, that espresso coffee makes you feel. Now, let's talk about the first part. How the coffee is made. The coffee is made quite fast. It's less than a minute. If you are good enough and know your coffee machine, then it generally you can make this coffee in less than a minute from uh, taking a coffee bean from the grinding to extraction of the coffee. So it's quite fast. You don't need to wait like three to five minutes uh, to brew your coffee like V60 or Chemex. So that's express, fast. That being said, when you take that little espresso coffee, it should also give you that feeling that, whoa, more like you just took something uh, and now you are all of a sudden awake. 
So it quickly and rapidly give you the feeling and punch and boost of this caffeine. So yeah, espresso is means both fast coffee making method at the same time a good punch of this coffee. But I have to be precise though. You should enjoy your espresso even though it's supposed to drink fast, but at least take your moment to understand the certain elements of coffee. Now let's talk about the history of coffee machine. It goes back to 1884. 1884, the first coffee machine was patented, patented by Angelo Moriondo from Turin. Interestingly, Turin is a place in Italy known for many other things, including chocolate. That's another story. But I'm sure that you're going to find it out very soon. It held a name of new steam machinery for the economic and in inst instantaneous confection of coffee beverage. Method A. Mariondo. Now, unlike later espresso coffee machine, it was a bulk brewer and brewed coffees for more customers at the time. So, simply explaining, it was actually not made for the quality of the espresso, but more high volume uh, production. Meaning that, you know, in Italy, people come in, take a coffee, they leave. So, idea is to brew coffee as fast as possible, and then people come into the bar, they drink a coffee, spend about a minute or two, talk about um, things, and then they just leave. They pay and then they. So that was the original objective of that coffee machine. In 1901, Luigi Bezzera from Milano patented an improved espresso machine. It had a boiler and four groups that held varying size filters that contained the coffee and it was called Tipo Gigante. I think I said it right in Italian. Desario Pavoni bought the Bezzera's patent in 1903 and started to produce espresso machines in 1905, founding La Pavoni Company. I'm pretty sure that those who were into that industry knows about the Pavoni coffee machines. The first espresso machine was installed in the United States in 1927. It was a La Pavone machine and it was installed in Regius in New York. A special machine was forced steam through the coffee, which made a burned flavor. A piston pump was developed by Cremonese in 1935. It forced hot and not boiling water through the coffee, which gave more natural taste and had a layer of foam, which in time became one major characteristic of coffee machine. The first one was installed at Achilles Gaggia's coffee bar. Unfortunately, World War II prevented the further development of this type of special machine at the time. Gaggia started producing commercial piston machines after the war in 1946. In 1961, Fima Company makes a pump-based machine which makes, which uses, sorry, an electric pump to deliver water under pressure. Water comes from the fresh water supply, goes through the tube that is heated with the boiler, then goes through the coffee. The espresso machines are still improved, but in details and are still hand operated. I personally still use a machine that is really manual, nothing automatic, has a lever and then you need to wait till the end and you have to manually stop it. It's called the rocket. Now, to end this uh, audio about espresso machine, at the end of the day, there are a variety of espresso um, in the world. When I say variety, uh, it depends on the coffee beans, it depends on the type of roasting. For example, 
uh, there are Arabica and Robusta. Robusta will give you more punch and Arabica will give you more fine texture. That being said, Arabica probably will be more complex if you take your time, while Robusta coffee has zero complexity, more sugar, less acidity, and more classic taste that everybody knows. Which one is good? A good coffee comes from, first of all, a good location. At the very beginning, from a nice forest, not from a mono-industrial culture, then it's been well taken care of uh, to extract the green coffee bean from its fruit. And then it's been well delivered all the way to its places to, for roasting. And then it comes to the responsibility of the coffee roaster, who are well knowledged and look after the coffee bean like a baby. And then it comes to the barista, who knows how to operate uh, espresso coffee machines and knows the exact time, exact ground size and exact amount of uh, pleasure. So yeah, it's a combination of many things, not just the coffee bean itself, not just the coffee machine itself. So I hope you learned something today. If so, help me out uh, going to the description below and I will talk to you about the coffee machine very soon. Bye-bye.